Domo Anejin des, back with another beginning Japanese lecture, lesson 20, stating locations. Um, all you have to really do is recall how to state the existence of things using arimas. Okay? Uh, e ga arimas. There is a, whatever that is, some kind of noun. Today's key sentence is Tashirojima wa nihon ni arimas. Tashirojima wa nihon ni arimas. Okay, our vocabulary today, Tashirojima, is uh, Tashirojima, I guess, with the American English pronunciation. Um, this is, well, an island in Japan. I'm going to talk more about it on the next slide. Uh, it's also sometimes referred to as Cat Island outside of Japan in English. Next up, we have the verb iru, imas, to exist. We're going to talk more about that later as well. Train station, eki. Eki, train station. ATM is ATM. <laughs> ATM, it's the same in English almost. Here, there, over there is koko, soko, asoko. All right, koko, soko, asoko. And then the question word where, we learned this way very, very uh, early on in the lectures. Do, uh, doko, where? Doko, doko, doko desu ka? And then um, our final page of vocabulary, konohen, konohen, around here, konohen, okay? Ginko, ginko, bank, bank. McDonald's in Japanese is makudonarudo, makudonarudo. Good luck saying that. There's actually um, two different ways to shorten this word. Uh, this is kind of a long word in Japanese, so they shorten it. I believe in Tokyo and... Western Japan, they say maku, maku, and in Kansai region, they say makudo, makudo. So I'm gonna stick to maku whenever I say makudonarudo, or if I want to shorten it. And then uh, the word for a Shinto shrine is jinja, jinja, and then the word for a lot of something is taksan, taksan. Okay. A little bit about Tashirojima. This is Cat Island. Um, you can see here on the map it is kind of northwestern part of Japan. Uh, and then here's a picture on the right of a cat shrine, uh, Neko Jinja, on the, uh, on the island. <laughs> a shrine to cats. Legend has it that people imported cats to eat, I think it was mice. Um, the, all the mice on the island, or to keep the mice away from their silk production, they had silk worms and they made like stuff out of that. So they had cats imported to deal with the rodents that wanted to eat the silk worms. Um, and then it just, the population exploded and now it is known as Cat Island in Japan. They're everywhere. You can Google this. It's amazing. There's actually a few cat islands on Japan. Tashirojima is not the only one, but it's probably the most well-known on uh, in Japan. Anyways, let's get into our grammar. Uh, koko, soko, asoko. So, you've learned similar words in the past, right? Kore, sore, are, kono, sono, ano. So, when it comes to locations, all right, nouns, um, koko, soko, asoko are your words, okay? Here we have koko as depicted by this uh, shaded region around the speaker, he would say koko. Uh, if we're focusing on there, like that location there, kind of, it's not immediately around you, but it's kind of a ways from you, soko. And then if that location is very far from you, asoko, asoko, right? We can use these location words along with these two phrases right here, place ni, Something ga arimas, okay? And that something uh, before ga has to be inanimate, okay? It can be a building, a park, a bank, an ATM, right? Uh, place ni something ga arimas. If that thing is animate, if it's living, like a person or an animal, uh, then you can say place ni something ga imas. Imas. That's the difference between arimas and imas. Okay? Iru, aru. 
Uh, here are the formulas. A ni bi ga arimasu. A ni bi ga imasu. There is a B at A. For example, asoko ni maku ga arimasu. There is a McDonald's over there. Neko ga koko ni imasu. Neko ga koko ni imasu. There is a cat here. Okay. Activity one, complete each sentence using the correct verb. This is challenging your imas versus arimas、uh, knowledge. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to answer it right now. Number one, asoko ni jinja ga. Jinja is inanimate. So, not imas, but arimas. Asoko ni jinja ga arimas. There is a Shinto shrine way over there. Number two, Niba. Koko ni McDonald's ga. We just saw this in our previous example. Arimas, right? Because McDonald's is a restaurant, it's a building, non living, so arimas. Number three, Soko ni inu ga. Imas, right? Inu is dog. A dog is an animate thing. Soko ni inu ga imas. Number four, Koko ni ginko ga arimas. Remember, ginko is bank. Okay? There is a bank here. Koko ni ginko ga arimas. Number five, asoko ni hito ga imas. Hito, person. Or, well, pe people, person, yeah. Asoko ni way over there, hito ga imas. There is a person. Number six, soko ni ATM ga arimas. Right? ATM is non living, so arimas. Soko ni ATM ga arimas. And here are the answers. Okay, what about places that are not koko, soko, asoko? Okay, basically we just use the same grammar structure that we used and we just change koko, soko, and asoko with different places. Kono hen ni ATM ga arimas ka? Is there an ATM around here? And then someone replies, a e k i ni arimas, e k i ni arimas. So there's one in the station. Or in the station, there is one. Okay? e k i train station. Kono ie ni inu ga imasu ka? Is there a dog in this house? You can ask that if you're visiting your friend's house and if you have an allergic re or if you have an allergy to dogs or cats. Kono ie ni inu ga imasu ka? Neko ga imasu ka? <laughs> right? There are a lot of cats on Tashirojima. Tashirojima ni neko ga taksan imasu. Taksan imasu. Remember, taksan, there's a lot of, right? Imasu. Activity two, using ni ga arimasu or ni ga imasu. Make one factual statement about each person's household. Okay, we have three people here、uh, Joni, Arexa, Arexa, and Urendan. So let's make one factual statement about each person's household. Relatively easy activity. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, we have Joni. Hey, Joni.、Uh, he has in his home a home, a book, and a kuruma car.、Uh, so we have two options. You could say in his house is a book or in his house is a car. Which is kind of interesting, <laughs> having a car in your house, but let's just pretend it's the garage. Joni wa, uh, ma, we can say Joni wa, ma, hon, ie ni hon ga arimasu. Ie ni, you could also say Joni no ie ni、eh, hon ga arimasu. Joni no ie ni kuruma ga arimasu. Kuruma ga arimasu. Okay? And both of those would use arimasu, right? Because they're non living. Number two, Alexa.、Eh, Alexa no ie ni aka chan ga imas. Aka chan. Remember baby? Aka chan ga imas. Do you remember the word for chair? Isu, isu, right? Chair.、Eh, Alexa no ie ni isu ga arimas. Okay. Number three, Brenda. Brenda no ie ni inu. Inu ga imas. Inu ga imas. Okay. Or telephone, do you remember the word for phone? Telephone? Denwa. Denwa.、Eh, Brenda no ie ni denwa ga arimasu. Right. 
And here are the answers in bold. I've included answers for both objects in both of their houses so that you have all possible answers. Now we're going to talk about stating the location of something. So up to this point, we've only been talking about sentences like something exists at this location. There's a dog at my house, in my house, or whatever. All right, and we've been focusing on location. All right, usually sentences that are like there is an, an X at Y. Okay, Disney World ni hito ga taksan imasu. There are a lot of people at Disney World. Ie ni isu ga arimasu. There is a chair in my house. In my house. At Disney World. Locations. What we want to do now is switch the focus to the topic. All right, we have something and we're commenting on it. All right, here are the formulas. A wa B ni arimasu. A wa B ni imasu. A is at B, is what both of these would translate to. Notice we're putting the topic now, the thing that we're commenting on, at the beginning of the sentence. You don't have to do this technically because particles allow you to switch the word order of anything in the sentence besides the verb at the end, but usually the topic, whatever is marked with wa, goes at the beginning. All right, so a in this case goes, you usually find it at the beginning, usually. A wa b ni arimasu. A wa b ni imasu. Tatoeba, for example, Mickey Mouse is at Disney World. Mickey Mouse wa Disney World ni imasu. And he's animate, so we use imasu. Sono kuruma wa watashi no ie ni arimasu. That car is at my house. Maybe you see a car that the exact model you have in your garage. You could say, oh, sono kuruma wa watashi no ie ni arimasu. Okay? That car is at my house. So, I'm just giving you these two um, structures here in parallel so that you can compare them. I don't want you to get confused. There's nothing to get confused about. These are two different structures, but they do very similar things. The first structure we covered, ni ga arimasu, ni ga imasu, focuses on the location. There's a chair in the house. Ie ni isu ga arimasu. The second structure I just introduced focuses on what we're talking about, an actual topic. All right, we're commenting and presenting some new information on this topic, which takes wa. Wa ni imasu arimasu. Isu wa ie ni arimasu. The chair is in the house. As opposed to uh, in the house there is a chair or there's a chair in the house. Okay, activity three. Add in the appropriate particles to logically complete each sentence. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm gonna solve this right now. Number one, Nihon Tashirojima Arimas. Well, we have Japan and we have Tashirojima and we have exists. So this looks like um, in Japan exists. Tashirojima. Or in more natural English, Tashirojima is in Japan. Mm. Usually, uh, let's see. Usually the topic comes first, but the topic here, we're talking about Tashirojima, but we're only talking about, we're focusing on its location, which would be in Japan. So that's the first structure that we learned. So this would be Nihon ni. Tashirojima ga arimasu. Okay, Japan, it's almost like saying Japan has this island. Uh, Nihon, but we're using Japan as the location where it is, right? Nihon ni Tashirojima ga arimasu. This may seem a little confusing, but it's something you'll get used to over time. Number two, ano eki mise taksan arimasu. Looks like we're saying in that train station there are a lot of uh, stores. Mise, right? Ano eki ni mise ga taksan arimasu. This is the same structure as number one, right? Ni ga arimasu. Number three, watashi tomodachi kanada imasu. 
Mm, we have two people here. Watashi and tomodachi, friend. Kanada is the place, Canada. And then imas. We're saying that someone exists probably in Canada. But who? Me or my friend? We're probably saying my friend. So this would be watashi no tomodachi wa watashi no tomodachi wa kanada ni imasu. So we're focusing on watashi no tomodachi, my friend. We're focusing on our friend and we're giving new information. We're commenting on uh, our friend. We're saying that, oh, he's, he or she is in Canada. Watashi no tomodachi wa kanada ni imasu. Okay? And that's number three. Number four. Kono hen ATM ari, uh, amari arimasen. So, amari arimasen. Do you remember amari? Amari means not really. And arimasen is the negative conjugation of arimas. So, there isn't really any, is the English translation. There isn't really any, probably, ATM. ATM in this area. Kono hen. So, this would be, number four would be, kono hen ni ATM ga anmari arimasen. Kono hen ni ATM ga anmari arimasen. Okay? Number five, Smith Hall. Do you remember Hall uh, means hall, like in a building or in a university? Smith Hall. Smith is Smith. Smith Hall. Jugyo arimas. This is a trick question. Okay? This is, this is a tricky question. Um, actually, this is a grammar point that we learned in a previous lesson. Remember, jugyo is an event, okay? And when you're stating that you have an event or a class at a location, you use de, okay? Sumisu horu de, okay? Jugyo ga arimasu. Literally, I have a class at Smith Hall. The I is understood, implied, okay? Smith Hall de jugyo ga arimasu. That's number five, trick question. Number six, Hawaii is Hawaii. Uh, something, America arimasu. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hawaii is first, usually that gives us a topic. And Hawaii is in America. And that's that's what I think this sentence is trying to say. Hawaii, as for Hawaii, it's in America. We're commenting on Hawaii. We're giving information about Hawaii. So, and it's first in our sentence. So that gives us a hint that it is the topic, which means we need wa. Hawaii wa America ni in America arimasu. Hawaii wa America ni arimasu. Okay? Here are the answers. De ga ni ga. Okay, everything looks good. Listening, practice. Listen as I read two compositions twice. Uh, write down what you hear, whether it's on a piece of paper or in your brain. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to start with number one right now. Koko ni jinja ga taksan arimasu ka? Koko ni jinja ga taksan arimasu ka? Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right now. Koko ni jinja ga taksan arimasu ka? Are there a lot of uh, Shinto shrines here? Number two. Kare no ie wa Tokyo ni arimasu. Kare no ie wa Tokyo ni arimasu. Answer for number two is Kare no ie wa Tokyo ni arimasu. His house is in Tokyo. Okay? Translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal the answers right now. The lady on top says, Eki wa soko ni arimasu. Simple sentence, it means the train station is there. Mm. Soko. 
The guy in the bottom says, there used to be a McDonald's here. This is kind of tricky. There used to be a McDonald's here. Uh, the hint for this I will give is think past tense, okay? In the past, there was a McDonald's here. ここにマクドナルドがありました。Okay? ここにマクドナルドがありました。You could also say マックがありました or マクドがありました。It's a little casual, slangy,、uh, but people say it. And we're back to our key sentence. Tashiro Jima wa Nihon ni arimas. Tashiro Jima, or Cat Island, is in Japan. And our shukudai, our homework for today, we have, I added an extra thing for you guys to do. First, where is your home? Use the phrase, Watashi no ie wa place ni arimas to indicate where your home is.、Uh, you can use your country. You can use your state, province, prefecture, whatever your country uses,、uh, town, city, I don't care, wherever. You can, I also want you to tell me、uh, what you have where you live. Okay, so use the phrase, ここに、えー、something がありますす or ここに something がいます So, for example, you could say in Australia we have kangaroos, I guess. えー、ここにカンガルーがいます。Something like that. Okay? And of course, there's a worksheet、uh, for this lesson. There's a worksheet for every lesson. You can download it for free. The answers are there for free as well on my website. Link in the description below. That's it, guys. I hope this information wasn't confusing. If you have any questions at all, please, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as I can. Otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in a future lecture.